Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about my GDPR consent form failure. <laughs> Okay, so last week I did a video about how I spent an entire day updating a bunch of my apps for GDPR compliance. And every time I talk to somebody who's not an app developer, they think I'm talking about removing personal information from our systems and everything like that. But I, I don't have any personal information, but for those of us who use ads, we have to start saying whether or not we're going to allow them to do personalized or non-personalized ads and ha let them have that option, which is very... I mean, my whole problem with it is you have these ugly terms and conditions and then nobody understands what they mean and we have bad user experiences all over the place, all over the web, all over the, all over the app store, everywhere. And a lot of people aren't doing it at all and I thought I would you know, we'd just be compliant. So we'll go through and update them. So what I'd done it was on the 25th of May, I removed all of our apps from, all of our free apps and we just, so I thought, until I get back and update them. So last week I went around and updated them and it went horribly so let me tell you a little bit about this so have a look at my screen here so what i had done was for some of our corona apps which i didn't want to go through and rewrite all the ad mob stuff and Appodeal had a pretty good library where i could just go through and do that so i went through and i thought i used Appodeals because they had the best documentation and they had like their own consent form which i didn't have to write one myself so here there's got one here where they've got the consent form where you could just put it in and they've got it on uh, github here now you could go through and customize it and everything too but you know, they have the GitHub library, so I thought, okay, I probably should go through and write something custom, but I don't really, I, I really want to get these things back on the App Store. So what I'll do is I'll just go through and implement what they've done, and so I spent, you know, I spent about half a day just in putting that into into a bunch of the apps, and then the rest of the time was com uh, deploying them. And this is what, this is what it looked like here. So just based, so this is the iPad view on my emulator. So the first thing the user sees is the Appadeal thing. They say, yes, I agree, or no, I don't. And if they do no, then it just goes through and it plays through the rest of the game. So the results of that were horrible. So what happened here was I started getting really bad reviews. So let's see here. So just after releasing this, and this is just one application, which doesn't didn't get a lot of reviews. A lot of the existing users were changed. So we just got a bunch of one-star reviews come through, and I noticed a trend in, in, in the responses here. So, you know, and because they've all been, you know, four, three, four, five stars, you know, for the last few years. I mean, it's not a, I mean, this is one of many, so it's not like a huge indicative of it. But there, there's like, here's one here where it says, uh, this app is only available for GDPR. Uh, you should be able to opt out of ads totally, which is, you know, which means I, they may not know that there's a pro version, so I need to update the form to do that. But they, they should said, anyway, don't bother the downloading unless you want to have spyware on your phone. Spyware, you know, it's no different than it was before, but now we have to have that form, and now people are talking spyware. Uh, I've had one, uh, uh, one four-star review change to a one-star review after releasing that. Uh, I've also had another one down here. Um, uh, this new ad requirements are acceptable for users above. Uh, please offer option to pay with no ads. Since I won't accept spyware, the app will not open for me. So this is something that I just I thought I would put out there for those of you who may not have implemented it yet, or also to see what you guys have had because uh, you know spyware has been mentioned too many times in the reviews over the last since I put these things live on. I think it was Saturday, maybe. No, it was like it was like Thursday or something. But since since doing that, I get it, I've gotten all these one star reviews. So I had so I pulled everything. So I unpublished everything again rather than have the reviews go. You know I don't want them to tank over the you know until the time I get around to actually writing a custom one and doing it again. And it's it's not as easy as 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 I was hoping. I was hoping we could just plug in that form and everything would work. Now on the on the Google consent form, I haven't seen that. I've seen actually a pretty good. Um, I haven't really seen any bad reviews because of the consent form but i have seen people accepting it so i think it's probably the wording of the one better than the other but it's just it's just a bad user experience to have to do that all around so anyway i, I thought i would put that out there it's kind of a um that's kind of a, a big failure of the week you know going through and releasing that to to those and not just putting what what's come out and not softening it a little bit not trying to change the language because the language on it is terrible and i'd like to know for those of you those guys out there using app if you have the same sort of uh 
problem with the consent form if you've noticed the same sort of thing with your apps going. For those of you who've done GDPR compliance, and the thing that kills me, the thing that really bothers me is that I know there's people out there who are not doing anything for GDPR, right? And they'll probably be just fine, right? They'll probably be just fine. And you know, the likelihood of somebody of somebody actually drilling down and finding them would be low. And maybe I'm just running around chasing my tail, you know, alienating my users because we're trying to be legal. So anyway, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think if you have the same kind of issues. And uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.